Hello, hey everybody. This is Donis Hicks of Living for Life Wellness LLC. We are live. It is 6:02, and we are going to be talking about uh, well, just one thing in particular, one of the most beneficial spices that you can ever have, which is turmeric. Later on this week, we'll be having a coconut turmeric stew, and turmeric, a turmeric is one of the most beneficial spices. Uh, that you can you can ever indulge in you can ever uh, consume uh, turmeric man turmeric contains a very powerful agent called curcumin which helps to relieve a, a multitude of different things some of the top five I'm go over real quick we're only going to be on here for about 10 minutes if you have any questions about health wellness uh, or anything like that you can chime in uh, and or you can inbox me if you don't if you don't aren't on this live segment you can inbox me and we can discuss let me check myself I should have did that before I got on but anyway uh, you can inbox me and uh, I can go over your questions and uh, inbox the answers in a, in a return fashion to you some of the most important factors for turmeric uh, one is it, it is a, a very beneficial pain reliever. It can relieve pain of the joints, any aches and pains that you may be feeling. Uh, there is a way that you can use cumin, uh, turmeric. Uh, you can actually wrap it around uh, the areas that are infected with uh, pain, that you're having pain in your joints. You can use that uh, to help yourself out uh, in terms of relief of pain. Also, turmeric is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So, anything with pain, that's inflammation. And so, again, you can um, relieve yourself uh, of pain with turmeric. Also, uh, turmeric is good for uh, your cognitive status. So, if you're going through um, things like dementia, again, turmeric can help to relieve uh, symptoms of dementia or any cognitive deficits that you may be having. Also, again, uh, Coumadin is good. It's a good uh, for inflammation. Again, pain, inflammation, anti-inflammatory, the same thing. So if you're, you're having those problems, try, try a little, little turmeric. You can use turmeric milk, turmeric tea, uh, many, or you can just use it as we're going to be doing on uh, day five of our uh, challenge is in turmeric, uh, is in the stew, is in the actual food. Also, turmeric is good for uh, elevation of mood. So if you're depressed, if you're feeling down or sad or uh, you have uh, issues with mood, and especially this time of the year where people are often uh, without sunlight, again, sun aff affects our mood as well uh, with the conversion of vitamin D, so on and so forth. Um, mood can be affected by the lack of sunlight. And so in order to counteract that down or depressed feeling, try turmeric. Uh, again, you can try turmeric tea. Um, look up the, uh, different doses in terms of what is effective to help you with those uh, problems with your mood. But turmeric is a very good agent uh, to help with mood. And uh, again, also uh, uh, continue to follow us on uh, Living for Life Wellness LLC. Look us up. We are actively doing our challenge. We had a very successful uh, kickoff on yesterday. Thankful for, for those who have came and thankful for those who have signed up. We have 50 participants so far. It's not too late to participate. Just go on livingforlifewellnessllc.com. Go to the website. You can hit a, just click that button and say that you want to participate and sign up also, if you want meals, uh, it's another way for you to sign up. It's $7.40 per meal. We're offering a discount during the challenge uh, along with um, delivery. So, again, if you want to participate in this challenge, please do so. We thank you so much for your support. We thank you for trying to start off a new year in a healthy way. We thank you for trying to reset. And so right now, I'm just so grateful. And if there's no questions, again, you can inbox me. 
inbox me about turmeric inbox me about the challenge it's a vegan challenge i know a lot of a lot of people think that they cannot do without meat but i'm here to tell you that absolutely that you can at least for what it's only three weeks and so we have a multitude of recipes that we're sharing with you and all of them are not mine however if you are a participant in the challenge you will receive the recipes all you have to do is click and those recipes are linked to the site that they originated from so i want to thank you again uh for your participation thank you for coming out on yesterday thank you for just being a uh a customer and supporting living for life wellness llc uh thank you for watching us on 9 10 a.m thank you for watching us on the just ask show with martha florence thank you again for all of those who have helped thank you donetta uh for your your help and with uh, putting together our website and everything so again thank you uh hopefully all of you who are grabbing those meals we we thank you as well so again living for life wellness llc thanks a lot we will be signing off it's only uh this only this broadcast was only for 10 to 15 minutes one day we'll have our own show and be able to program for about 30 minutes hey eh? so let's uh again stay healthy if you can't do a vegan challenge i just recommend that you do at least one vegan meal per day again look for turmeric it's very beneficial especially this time of the year turmeric again is good for your mood it's good to relieve pain it's anti-inflammatory it's good for cognition and um, uh, just go ahead and try that turmeric in milk or in tea or in stews or soups or so many different uses for turmeric and and you can use a uh, a paste you can wrap your joints with it so again turmeric is one of the best spices that you can ever use again turmeric and thank you again this is Dinas Hicks of Living for Life Wellness LLC signing off see you tomorrow let's get ready to go for tomorrow on our reset challenge tonight uh, go ahead with you got pears on as one of your snacks and you can do nuts you can do fruit you can do just about anything that's vegan in terms of your dessert for tonight and a snack try not to eat too late uh, after 8 o'clock would probably be a bad idea to try to eat anything but I know um, a lot of us are working late so if you have to you have to but try to make sure that we minimize those uh, minimize the portion sizes oh and again drink plenty of water you got to drink a lot of water at least 64 ounces half a gallon to a gallon all right thanks a lot